Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so I see a lot of people are worried about uh, having secure boot enabled uh, because with the new Battlefield 6 and then the upcoming Black Ops 7, uh, you require secure boot to be enabled. Otherwise the apps just won't even load. Uh, so the main concern is because uh, you won't be able to overclock your control because you need to turn off secure boot to actually run the app. So Battle Beaver have uh, signed the new drivers and that way they've built one that will actually work with secure boot. Uh, so with that, so first, if you need to check if you have Segua built enabled. Uh, so if you go to your start run, type in MS info 32 and then hit OK, you'll get the, this window pop up and you want to look for this one, which is secure boot state is on. So as long as that's on, that means it's working. It's great. So you've got that on. Now you want to uh, run the actual uh, app to overclock your controller. So we go to the Battle Beaver webpage. So it's just Battle Beaver Customs, Pages, Overclocking. Uh, I'll put the link in the description as well. Uh, scroll down, step-by-step -step guide, hit download. That'll download the installer. Once you've installed it, uh, you can jump over, go into the folder, the driver, then there's a setup exe. Run that one, and then you'll get to this. And then you can go install service, and then change the uh, polling rate, change it to 8,000, install service, uh, filter on the device, that's ticked, and then that'll say yes, and then install service. Uh, then you'll have uh, all of them will be yes, 8,001, and that's the controller there. Then we can make sure we test it, so we unplug it. Disappears, plug it back in, comes back, and we're good to go. So we've got 8,000, so we've got filter, yes, rate 8,000, interval 1, and that's my uh, PS5 control. Uh, so just make sure that memory is uh, disabled, the memory integrity is disabled, we're good to go. Cool. Thanks, guys.